A longtime city business manager says that she blew the whistle on what she calls fraudulent business practices in the Atlanta Police Department, and it cost her her job. Channel 2's Dave Huddleston spoke with a woman today and found out why she felt like that she had to come forward. Dave? The former business manager worked more than 20 years for the city, Craig. Seven years right here at the police headquarters. She showed me those glowing performance reviews, but she says that all came to an end when she questioned why the department was spending more than $100,000 on two SUVs for the mayor. It's very painful. It's yeah, very painful. Tracy Woodard is talking about being fired in April 2016. The former Atlanta police manager says she was let go after she blew the whistle on the department using federal funds to pay police overtime and buying two SUV vehicles for Mayor Kasim Reed. You know, with rims and uh, nice tires and, and like you said, the stereo system. And that was the first time that you had ever seen? That was the first time we've ever done that. That uh, caused the police department to go into the red as it relates to operational needs. Woodard also told me in this exclusive interview that money set aside to fight crime was actually being used for police overtime. She says four months later, she was shown the door. When you're as loyal um, to the city of Atlanta, to the police department as I was, it was extremely painful. Michael Berry is Woodard's attorney. The only thing that does make sense is that they fired her because they've done something wrong and they wanted to hide it. Barry has filed a lawsuit demanding back pay and Woodard's good reputation being restored. Current police chief Erica Shields sent me a statement that says Miss Woodard was terminated by my predecessor Chief Turner due to performance issues. It is never easy to separate an employee but leaders are responsible for making tough decisions and APD values hard work and integrity. And city officials also say they've had independent auditors look at their books and they have never been questioned about what they have done. They also say Woodard's lawsuit is without merit. Reporting live from downtown Atlanta, Dave Huddleston, Channel 2 Action News.